The anime begins by showing Soma Yukihira, a 15-year-old boy who is very fond of all things culinary and is good at cooking. Soma lifts with his father, Joichiro, who owns a Yukihira family restaurant diner. One day, Soma's classmates visit the Yukihira family's diner to see his skill in cooking. Knowing that his classmates came to taste the food, he challenged his father in an unofficial cooking battle, where they would make a special fried rice dish. Meanwhile, one of his classmates, a girl named Mayu Kurase, will be the judge in the cooking battle. Joichiro accepted the challenge from his son, and they started the cooking battle. In the end, Mayu decided Joichiro was the winner because his fried rice was delicious. All the diners then tasted Joichiro's cooking, agreeing with Mayu's decision completely. Soma seemed annoyed because his father again defeated him in terms of cooking. Moreover, he had never once won against his father. Besides having great talent in cooking, Soma has a habit of making strange dishes. A few days later, a group came to Yukihira family restaurant and met Soma because his father was out of the house. One of them is a woman named Yaiko Minegasaki, who tells him she is an urban life planner who worked for a real estate developer company. Minegasaki openly told Soma and his family to close the diner and move out of there, as they were going to build an apartment building in the area where the Yukihira family restaurant's diner was located, known as the Sumire Shopping District. However, Soma insists that he and his father will not move from the place and will maintain the diner. Minegasaki keeps trying to persuade him to move to smooth out their plan to build an apartment building. But Soma persisted, saying that he and his father would close the diner if they could not serve food that satisfied their customers. Since all Yukihira family restaurant's customers have been very satisfied with the dishes Soma and his father made, he confidently said that to Minegasaki. Because her attempts failed to persuade him, Minegasaki and her subordinates left the diner. The next day, Soma, on his way back to his house after shopping, got a call from his father, who said that he still had to take care of some important things, so he couldn't go home for a while. Joichiro told his son to close the restaurant because he would be overwhelmed if he handled orders from all the customers alone. Arriving at the diner, Soma was shocked when he saw that Minegasaki and her subordinates had ransacked his family restaurant. Not long after, they arrived there and arrogantly asked him to make a delicious meal. If the dish satisfies her, then she promises not to disturb him, and the Yukihira family restaurant will remain open as usual. Because his family's diner had been ransacked by Minegasaki's henchmen, Soma was short of ingredients to make the dishes Minegasaki wanted. However, he did not just give up and rush to make dishes using the ingredients he had just bought. Soma uses potatoes in the bacon he bought while shopping to create an imitation roast pork dish, as Minegasaki wants. Ultimately, he made the dish she ordered, even though he only used makeshift ingredients. Minegasaki initially seems to underestimate Soma's cooking skills which she thinks are ordinary. But when she tasted the dish he cooked for her, she was completely astonished because the taste was so delicious that words couldn't express it. Because Minegasaki and her subordinates were very satisfied with the dishes Soma cooked, Yukihira family restaurant was finally saved and was not closed. The next day, Joichiro finally returns home. Still, instead, he tells Soma that he will close the Yukihira family restaurant for two to three years because he intends to travel abroad to improve his cooking skills. Since Soma has graduated from junior high school, Joichiro suggested that he attend Tatsuki Culinary Academy, a famous culinary school located in Tokyo, Japan, and is predicted to be the best and harshest culinary education in the world. That's why if someone could study in Tatsuki, it is considered a great honor and an even greater opportunity for aspiring chefs. Joichiro slightly instigated Soma by saying that if he didn't make it into the Tatsuki Culinary Academy, then at any time, he would not be able to beat him. Hearing this, Soma, who has the ambition to beat his father, becomes very excited and fights hard so that he can pass the entrance exam. A few days later, upon arriving at Tatsuki, Soma is shocked by its grandness and how famous it really is. He meets many other chefs, all of whom are descendants of gourmet chefs or heirs to high-class food businesses, who have come to take the transfer exam, and due to his background as a low-class diner chef, he is looked down on. However, when it comes time for the examination, most participants flee upon hearing that Irina Nakiri, a legendary food genius with the most selective palate nicknamed the God Tongue, will be their examiner. They decided to give up before taking the test because if their cooking was judged badly by Irina, then their career as professional chefs would end right away. However, when most participants chose to withdraw, Soma was still there, which surprised Irina and her assistant, Isako Arado. Irina underestimates Soma's ability to cook because he comes from a small restaurant on the outskirts of town. For fun, she changes the exam and orders him to cook an egg dish to satisfy her. He then creates ordinary-looking rice with seasoning, only to reveal that the seasoning contains chicken aspic, which enhances the flavor greatly. Despite being overwhelmingly impressed with his dish, Irina fails him, disliking his nonchalant and perceived cocky attitude and feeling that her pride would be threatened if she passed him. 
However, later in the day, Irina's grandfather, Senzaiman Nakiri, the school director, tastes Soma's dish and overrules her decision. The next day, at the entrance ceremony, Senzaiman delivered a welcoming speech to all the Tatsuki Culinary Academy students. Then, as the only student who managed to transfer into Tatsuki's high school division, Soma is asked to go up to the podium and deliver a speech. He confidently declares that he will become the top student at Tatsuki, instantly earning the ire of the entire student body. When he was about to go to his class, Soma accidentally met Arena, who was very surprised because he had become a new student at Tatsuki even though he had failed the exam yesterday. Soma then shows the letter he received, which shows that he successfully passed the entrance exam and has been accepted as a student of Tatsuki Culinary Academy. Even so, Irina still doesn't recognize his greatness in cooking, so he swears that one day, he will make her praise his cooking and acknowledge his greatness. In his first class, Soma meets a girl named Megumi Tadakoro, who has the worst grades among the first years and is one E grade away from expulsion. They are then paired up in a cooking class led by Roland Chapelle, a French man famous for being very strict and earning the nickname the chef that never smiles because he has never smiled once. Soma and his classmates were assigned to make beef bourguignon, a French beef stew braised in red wine. Roland told all the students that if they couldn't get an A on this assignment, they would be given an E and expelled from school. Hearing that, Megumi became even more panicky and worried, especially when she was paired with Soma, who looked careless and belittled by the other students because he was only a cook at a roadside diner. Megumi is determined to earn a passing grade but encounters a setback when two other students sabotage the dish by adding too much salt. She feels hopeless and resigns herself to being expelled from school. However, Soma doesn't just stay silent and can make the dish again, using honey to quickly tenderize the meat. Soma and Megumi then handed over their dish to be graded by Roland. After that, the students were very surprised when they saw Roland smiling broadly once he tried their dish and proclaiming that he wished he could give them a grade higher than an A. The two saboteurs, who have been distracted by Roland's smiling, accidentally ruin their own dish and receive a failing grade. Megumi, who had been desperate for a while, finally smiled in relief that she managed to get an A in today's cooking class and thanked Soma for helping her. Megumi, who had underestimated Soma's cooking skills, finally recognized his prowess after witnessing how he made delicious dishes in a short time, which even made Roland smile when he tasted them. Meanwhile, Irina is told of Soma's success in Roland's class and furiously vows to get him expelled. In the evening, Soma looks exhausted as he tries to find the Polar Star Dormitory, a dorm for students whose home is far away from the school. On the way to the dormitory, he accidentally drops a piece of paper that says about the terms and conditions students must meet before being accepted into the Polar Star Dormitory. Arriving at the dorm, Soma meets a woman named Fumio de Mito, the caretaker. Fumio asked him to cook a dish that satisfied her to become a resident. Hearing this, he became irritated because he did not know about the provisions. However, Fumio said that the conditions were stated in the note received by Soma when he was successfully accepted into Tatsuki. Unfortunately, since he hadn't had time to read it, and the note had disappeared somewhere, he had no choice but to obey her order. Because he didn't prepare anything, Soma used the remaining ingredients in the dorm kitchen, where he ended up making a mackerel burger meal. When tasting the dishes he cooked, Fumio was very surprised and satisfied because she had never eaten such delicious food. She realized Soma must not be an ordinary chef because he has great cooking talent. After getting permission from Fumio to stay in the Polar Star dormitory, Soma headed to his room to shower and change clothes. While resting, he was surprised by the appearance of a young man named Satoshi Ishiki, a resident of Polar Star dormitory, who invited him to have a party to welcome new residents to the hostel. Satoshi then introduced Soma to the other residents, who greeted him very kindly, including Megumi, a new dorm resident. In the middle of the party, Soma finally finds out about the Tatsuki Elite 10 Council, which Isako had previously mentioned when taking the entrance exam. The Elite 10 Council is the highest decision-making body in the school, other than the school director. This group consists of 10 exceptionally talented students, including Arena Nakiri, ranked 10th. After the party, when the other residents were asleep, Satoshi went to the kitchen to cook a peppered mackerel dish. He served the dish and asked Soma to taste it. Without thinking, Soma tasted his dish and was very surprised because the dish that seemed simple had a high-quality taste as if it were a dish in a high-end restaurant. He realized that Satoshi was not an ordinary student. Satoshi revealed that he is a member of the Elite 10 Council, currently ranked 7. Since Soma has tasted his cooking, Satoshi challenges him to make a delicious dish that can satisfy him. Soma happily accepted the challenge and started cooking. While he was cooking, Megumi and the other residents were awakened by the delicious aroma of cooking. He makes onigiri chazuke, a simple Japanese dish made by pouring green tea over cooked rice. While tasting the dishes cooked by Soma, Satoshi and the others became so impressed and satisfied that they decided that the cooking match ended in a draw. 
The next day, Soma, who wanted to become a member of the Elite Ten Council, challenged Satoshi in a cooking battle to fight for the seventh position currently held by Satoshi. However, he refuses the challenge because he doesn't want Soma to be expelled from Tatsuki Academy. Satoshi then tells Soma about Shakugeki, a high-stakes cooking duel in which both participants in the duel risk something valuable and are prepared to lose it if defeated in the fight. Furthermore, he said Soma had to be willing to risk something valuable if he wanted to challenge him to a duel for the seventh place on the Elite Ten Council. Satoshi mentioned three conditions that must be met before Shakugeki is held, which are very difficult for Soma or him to fulfill, who do not intend to do Shakugeki with Soma. Even so, Soma could challenge anyone at Tatsuki Academy, even the director or the teachers, if he had the precious things worth risking and met the requirements. Meanwhile, Arena challenged the Chanko Research Society president, Kiyoshi Gatabayashi, to do Shakugeki for the rights to his clubroom because she wanted to make the clubroom her personal cooking facility. As a stake, she confidently stakes her position as a member of the Elite Ten Council if Kiyoshi manages to defeat her. As everyone expected, Irina wins easily and then demolishes the clubroom to make room for a new wing for her personal cooking facilities. The next morning, Soma is invited by one of the residents of the Polar Star Dormitory, a girl named Yuki Yashino, to a garden near the dormitory, where they usually grow vegetables and fruits. He seemed impressed to see the results of the garden's harvest, which was very well planted, resulting in high-quality vegetables and fruits. After that, Megumi helps Soma to choose the research society at their school, where he can join and do many things with the club members like in a normal school. Afterward, they visit the Don Research Society and meet the club president, Kanishi Kanichi, who seems frustrated that their club is being targeted by Arena for her expansion project. Kanishi explains to Soma and Megumi that Arena and her subordinates kept urging him to do Shakugeki, which caused the club members to resign, leaving only Kanishi. In the middle of their conversation, suddenly, a girl named Ikumi Mito, one of Arena's lackeys known as the Meat Master, challenges Kanishi and tells him that no matter his dish, it will never beat her A5 grade meat. Upon hearing that, Soma volunteers to compete in Kanishi's place, with the challenge of cooking a donberry, a Japanese rice bowl dish with meat as the main ingredient. If Soma wins, the club stays with increased funding, and Ikumi must join it, but if she wins, the club disbands, and he will be expelled. Without thinking, Ikumi accepted the challenge and agreed to a duel in the next three days. For three days in a row, Soma continued to practice cooking various donberry dishes with the help of Kanishi and Megumi. Long story short, the day of the match arrived. The students looked down on them and even mocked Soma for using discount supermarket beef in the duel, while Ikumi managed to impress people with her A5 grade beef. Ikumi completes her A5 Japanese beef roti don first, and the judges are extremely impressed with the taste and quality of the meat. Soma then presents his chaliapan steak don, which the judges initially refuse to taste. But once they do, they cannot stop eating, resulting in a unanimous win for him. Soma points out that Ikumi misunderstood the concept of donberry by placing too much emphasis on the beef and not on the dish as a whole, as the judges were too full from eating the beef to finish her rich garlic rice. With Soma's victory, Ikumi has her personal kitchen taken away from her by Arena. She then joins the Don Research Society and is outraged and embarrassed to learn Soma did not join the club. He had only visited the Don Research Society to research Donberry recipes to add to his restaurant's menu. Sometime later, Soma and the first-year students at Tatsuki Academy go to a training camp as their first major challenge. About half of the first-year students usually receive a failing grade and are expelled. Arriving at the training camp, they were surprised by the appearance of Tatsuki Academy alumni, who would provide various challenges and training to students for five consecutive days. During the training, the students will be divided into groups, where Soma will be paired again with Megumi and be under the guidance of an alumna named Hinako Inui. Apart from them, Hinako will mentor the Aldini twins, Takumi and Asami. The first challenge for Soma's group, which includes Megumi and the Aldini twins, is to make a dish that can be served at a Japanese restaurant using ingredients gathered from the area surrounding the kitchen. Takumi, the heir to his family restaurant in Tuscany, Trattoria Aldini, challenges Soma to a duel to see who can cook the better, as they both specialize in diner-style dishes. When the other students decided to make a dish made from fish because it is a characteristic of Japanese foods, the Aldini twins ventured to make a new breakthrough by creating a roast duck dish served by combining Japanese and Italian flavors. When Hinako tasted the dish, she enjoyed it and congratulated the Aldini twins for successfully completing the challenge. Knowing the competition between Takumi and Soma, Hinako advised them to do an unofficial cooking battle. If Soma and Megumi's cooking can outperform the Aldini twins' cooking, they have to acknowledge Soma and Megumi's greatness and vice versa. Without thinking, Soma agreed to Hinako's suggestion and rushed to find the ingredients to create a unique dish, which was as delicious as the Aldini twins' roast duck. 
Surprisingly, Soma intends to use soy-flavored rice crisps and peanuts, which is Hanako's favorite snack, as one of his basic ingredients to make a plate of delicious dishes. He and Megumi then gather ingredients and make the char akakiyage dish with their remaining 15 minutes, using the peanuts as a crust for the fish. After tasting the dish, she seems very satisfied with their cooking and decides to pass them. Even so, Hinako refused to determine whose dish was superior and just walked away, leaving Soma and Takumi, who were both annoyed by her attitude. Takumi, still feeling irritated, tells Soma that he will challenge him in a shakugeki if they meet again. After returning to the hotel, Soma and the first-year students were assigned to make a steak dinner that would serve bodybuilders as many as 50 servings within 60 minutes. The students who failed to achieve this target would be expelled from school. Soma, used to cooking large portions of food, could complete the challenge earlier than the other students, so he could relax first and intended to go to the bathhouse. On the way to the bathhouse, Soma met Irina, who said openly that she hoped he would be expelled from Tatsuki Academy as soon as possible. In the bath, Soma meets the alumnus and Tatsuki Resort's head chef, a man named Gin Dajima, who is surprised that Soma has finished the challenge so quickly. Dajima wishes him good luck as Takumi enters the bath, and Takumi is shocked to see him having a casual conversation with a legend like Dajima. The next day, Soma and Megumi are assigned the task of making the nine vegetable terrine by an alumnus, a man named Kajiro Shinomiya. This time they must cook individually instead of as partners. Soma completed the challenge and managed to pass quite easily but not with Megumi, who was declared a failure for making unauthorized changes to the recipe after she was forced to use wine vinegar instead of the cauliflower that had been determined by Shinomiya. Knowing that Megumi did this because she couldn't find the fresh cauliflower, Soma tries to defend her by challenging Shinomiya in a shakugeki. If he succeeds in winning the duel, then Shinomiya must withdraw his decision to expel her from Tatsuki Academy. But if Shinomiya wins, then Soma is willing to be expelled from school along with her. Shinomiya initially refuses Soma's challenge. However, Dajima and Hinako overhear and pressure him into accepting. Thus, they battle Shinomiya in an unofficial shakugeki under the condition that Megumi is the head chef and Soma is her sous chef. While Shinomiya makes his dish, Megumi starts to panic. Soma tells her to relax and focus on making a dish representative of herself. Shinomiya presents his dish first, the chow farsi, and the judges praise the dish. However, Dajima is not satisfied with the dish, as it is not one of Shinomiya's specialties. Megumi then presents her dish, the rainbow terrine. She impresses the judges with her rainbow terrine, emphasizing the maturity of vegetables. However, all three judges vote for Shinomiya's dish. Just then, Dajima gives his own vote towards her dish. He says that Shinomiya has allowed his cooking to become stale and that his status as a world-famous chef has prevented him from developing his skills further. Shinomiya's climb to fame is revealed to have ensured his dishes were made exactly to his recipe, with no tolerance for changes. When Shinomiya tries Megumi's dish for himself, he understands how her dish is geared towards the needs of those eating it and puts in his own vote for her. With Inui casting a vote for her, the shakugeki ends in a tie, and Shinomiya revokes Megumi's expulsion. As Megumi returns to her concerned friends, Soma laments what is, in his eyes, a defeat. Afterward, before the students have a chance to sleep for the night, Dajima announces the next task, in which the students must prepare a buffet-style egg dish to be served at breakfast the next morning for the hotel guests and staff of about 200 servings. As everyone spends the night trying to come up with a recipe, he decides on a souffle omelette, which is met with silent criticism from some other students. The next day, when Soma was preparing the menu for the dish he was going to cook, he met a girl named Alice Nakiri, Irina's cousin, and her aide, a young man named Ryo Kurakiba. Knowing about Soma's great cooking talent, Alice considers him her rival and tries to intimidate him mentally. However, Soma paid no attention to Alice, so her efforts were in vain. Due to the specific timing required for his souffle omelette, he struggles to get any customers to try his dish before it deflates. With half an hour left, Soma changes his approach, cooking in front of his customers to attract a crowd while delivering the dish in its peak condition. Optimizing his preparation time to cook his omelettes as quickly as possible, he successfully completes his 200 servings with seconds to spare. After another task a few hours later, Dajima treats all the surviving students to a banquet to celebrate the end of the training camp. On the last day of training camp, Soma and his schoolmates prepare to return to their respective dormitories. While on his way to the bus, Soma meets Shinomiya, who plans to make his restaurant the number one restaurant in Paris. Soma finally found out that the training camp was held not only to test the students' cooking skills but as a talent search event, where alumni intend to recruit students who have considerable talent and ability in culinary if they have graduated from Tatsuki Academy and offers them a job as a chef at the restaurant they manage. Because some of their belongings were left at the hotel, Soma and Irina missed the bus, so they were forced to return to the dormitory in a luxury car belonging to the Nakiri family. 
On the way home, she tells him about the next event, the Tatsuki Autumn Election, an annual cooking competition to celebrate the Autumn Festival. Long story short, Soma and his schoolmates finally arrived at the Polar Star Dormitory, and they were surprised by the appearance of Soma's father, Joichiro, who was cooking meals to welcome them home. Joichiro then reveals to Soma that he is a Tatsuki Academy student and a Polar Star Dormitory resident, so he is familiar with Fumio. But what is more surprising is that Joichiro was formerly a member of the Elite Ten Council and took second place, while Gindajima, a resident of the Polar Star Dormitory, took first place. Fumio explained that Joichiro and Dajima had won a lot of Shakugeki and who was responsible for many of the luxuries the dorm has. The next morning, Soma and his father returned to their habit of doing unofficial cooking battles. With Fumio, Megumi, and Satoshi as judges, Soma and Joichiro are challenged to use ingredients from the kitchen to make a light yet energizing breakfast dish. Soma presents an apple risotto, which provides a crisp taste that changes with adding black pepper. Joichiro presents unusual ramen that, despite its heavy appearance, turns out to be a mellow and warming vegetarian dish, providing powerful flavor without meat or fish. The judges unanimously vote Joichiro's dish the winner, though Soma's dish receives praise. As Joichiro takes leaves, he recommends Soma visit their family restaurant during the holiday. Returning home, Soma temporarily reopens Yukihira family restaurant to serve his loyal customers, including his childhood friend, Mayu. However, he learns that the Sumire shopping district has been doing poorly lately due to the arrival of a popular karage chain shop, Mizuya. To help revive the shopping district, Soma decides to come up with a competing karage recipe, calling in Ikumi as his meat expert, while Mayu winds up as his taste tester. The three do some recon at Mizuya, where they meet its CEO, Kinu Nakamazu, before they begin working on a karage recipe of their own. As Soma takes Mayu's suggestion to use their shopping district location to its advantage, it is revealed that the figure behind Mizuya's success is one of the Elite Ten Council members. Noting that the shopping district focuses more on walk and eat food, Soma shifts his focus towards creating a karage that can be enjoyed straight out of the fryer and is inspired by a bento shop owner to serve his karage in rice flour wraps with salad, providing enhanced flavor, portability, and appeal. This brings a large amount of business, which helps the rest of the shopping district come back to life. After returning to Tatsuki Academy, Soma is asked to meet a young man named Atsuya Izan, the ninth seat of the Elite Ten Council. Aizan is the person behind Mizuya's success, which causes the Sumire shopping district to become less visited. Knowing that Soma has a pretty great cooking talent, Aizan asks Soma to be his assistant. However, he refused Aizan's request. After that, Aizan told Soma that he had been chosen as a participant in the autumn election, which was limited to 60 people, and 60 selected contestants were split into two groups, which they must top to advance to the tournament phase. Each group will only pass four contestants, so only eight participants will fight in the match. One of the purposes of holding the autumn election is to show the students cooking skills to people who have great influence in the culinary industry, who will later attend the event as invited guests and judges. However, suppose some participants serve less delicious dishes. In that case, it is certain that the student will be expelled from Tatsuki Academy and may have to give up their dream of becoming a professional chef. After learning the first dish of the elections is curry, Soma and Megumi visit Jun Shiomi, a female instructor and Polar Star alumna specializing in curry and spices. Using Jun's theories on spices, her assistant, a young man named Akira Hayama, who is in the election, demonstrates that preparing the same ingredients of a curry dish in different ways can yield drastically different results. Impressed by the powerful flavors of Akira's curry, Soma becomes determined to beat him in the preliminaries. Having received the challenge of creating a curry dish, many of the contestants set off to visit their families and study up on spices during the remainder of the summer, while Soma stays at the dorms to try out various spice combinations. The autumn election preliminaries soon arrive, and the contestants find that only the top four from each group will make it to the tournament phase. One by one, the participants began to show their skills in cooking curry dishes in front of the judges and spectators watching the competition, until finally, it was Akira and Soma's turn. Akira's dish, which has a powerful fragrance and uses the power of holy basil and yogurt, earns a score of 94 from the judges. Finally, Soma presents his dish, combining his past two failures, into a fragrant curry risotto amuras containing a mango chutney. The dish earns Soma 93 points, landing him second place behind Akira. However, it is noted that although Akira received a higher score overall, three of the five judges ranked Soma's dish higher than Akira's, with the implication being that in a shakugeki, this would have given Soma the victory. Because their scores are quite high, Soma and Akira are declared qualified and have the right to advance to the next round. Later, during the Polar Star dorm after party, Soma becomes determined to improve his cooking finesse. Two weeks later, the main tournament of the autumn election starts with Soma and Alice, who are making bentos. 
Using her array of scientific techniques and state-of-the-art equipment, Alice presents a Temeri Sushi Bento that uses each piece's flavors to complement the next flavor. Meanwhile, Soma presents his own take on a Nori Bento, using a molecular gastronomy technique he learned from a cheap candy product to make umami-packed Nori spheres. Feeling that the warmth of his dish better suited the theme, the judges declare him the winner. On the other side, when tasting Soma's bento dish, Alice admitted that the dish was much better than the bento she made, so she accepted her defeat. After the match, Soma meets with Megumi in the waiting room and learns that the next match will be her turn against Alice's aide, Ryo Kurakiba. Megumi competes against Kurakiba in the second match, where the two make ramen dishes using pre-prepared noodles. As both Megumi and Kurakiba make ramen using seafood-based broths, she reminisces on when she first met him 10 years ago in a port town in Denmark. Kurakiba presents his soup de poison ramen first, impressing the judges with a rich flavor from crushed lobster shells. Despite the shift in the crowd's tone, Megumi concentrates on finishing her Kazuyu chicken soy sauce ramen, which draws out umami from scallops and simmered dried vegetables while using a flavor-changing sauce. After a close battle, Kurakiba is declared the winner, though Megumi is still praised for her efforts. The next day, as Akira and Isako face off in a hamburger duel, Soma meets the eighth contestant, Subaru Mimasaka, who joins him, Megumi, and Takumi in watching the battle. Isako presents her dish, a soft-shelled turtle burger, but is defeated by Akira's kebab burger, which takes advantage of the burger's pickle aspect to enhance the flavor. Before the fourth match, Subaru provokes Takumi by insulting his brother, Asami, and turning their match against each other into a shakugeki. The shakugeki between Takumi and Subaru commences with his special knife, Mezzaluna, on the line. For the dessert theme, both sides decide to make a semifreddo. Shortly afterward, Subaru's investigative approach to shakugekis is revealed. He makes his own twists on his opponent's recipes to improve his own dish. At first, Takumi desperately tries to think of twists he can make within the cooking time, but he remembers his training and calms down. After Subaru impresses the judges with his dish, Takumi presents his semifreddo with an added layer of lemon curd made with olive oil. However, he reveals he had predicted Takumi's actions and added his own secret ingredient, preserved lemons, claiming both victory and Takumi's mezzaluna. After the battle, Subaru shows up at Soma's dorm to challenge him to a shakugeki in the semi-finals, putting up Takumi's mezzaluna for Soma's knife. However, Soma raises the stakes, putting his career as a chef on the line for all the tools Subaru had won in his past 100 shakugekis. He reveals to Subaru that he will make beef stew for their match. The next day, Soma meets Mitsuru Satsuda, his junior at Tatsuki Academy and a member of the newspaper club, who asks to write about him as he works on a recipe for his shakugeki. Soma decides to fulfill his request because Soma needs a tester to taste his cooking. But Mitsuru was not suitable for the task, so they went to Arena and asked her to taste his cooking. After tasting the dish cooked by Soma, Irina said that the dish was not worthy of being served in the autumn election, a prestigious cooking competition in their school. Thinking her words over, Soma is inspired after receiving some meat from Ikumi. He realizes that his dish must stand out on the first bite and decides to make his stew using oxtail. The day of the shakugeki arrives, and Mimisaka reveals that as a result of his profiling, he has predicted Soma's action and is using oxtail and bringing his own twist to it. Subaru uses smoked bacon as a garniture for his stew, revealing that he got his information from hacking into Mitsuru's notes. Even when Soma reveals his intent to use various cuts of beef to improvise his dish on the fly, Subaru still appears to have predicted Soma's move, remaining confident in his bacon. Although the judges are impressed by Subaru's dish, Soma astounds them with his dish, which uses various types of meat for his garniture. He reveals that the dish is created from everything he has learned so far, and he unanimously wins the match. As a result, he manages to return all the tools that Subaru had taken from their original owners. Takumi, however, decides to leave his mezzaluna with Soma until he can regain it. Afterward, Kurakiba and Akira face off against each other in the second semi-final match, in which they must make western-style dishes. Akira presents his dish, canard apicius, using a combination of spices with duck, wowing the judges. Meanwhile, Kurakiba serves up eel mateload, adding plums to provide an electrifying taste. The judges cannot decide on a winner, so they declare that the final round will be a three-way match between Soma, Akira, and Kurakiba with the theme of Pacific Sori. In preparation for the final, Soma and Megumi go to the fish market, where they come across Kurakiba and Alice. There, they learn of the varying factors for picking the best Pacific Sori, which Kurakiba appears to be an expert on. Learning that Akira has a talent for picking out the best fish, Soma worries about how to compete against them. Soma decides on aging his sori, asking for help from Ikumi and the fellow residents of Polar Star Dormitory. He tries their aging techniques, using malt rice, smoking, and high humidity, but manages to think of a way to surpass his competition after a run-in with Fumio. 
Soma brings out completely unrecognizable Sori on the day of the final. After only half the cooking time, Kurakiba presents his dish, a cartaxio cooked with herb butter, inside film bags. Next, Akira presents a seared carpaxio, using fire to unleash a powerful aroma from a single spice. Finally, Soma presents his dish, salted rice brand Pacific Sori rice, inspired by Fumio's pickles. Just as it seems his dish has failed to impress the judges, Soma brings out his dish's true edge. He presents his dish's missing element, a white soup made from soy milk that turns the dish into a creamy porridge, enhancing the existing flavors. Meanwhile, Satoshi, deducing that Aizan was the one who drove Subaru to provoke Soma, tells him that it is Soma's drive to never give up that got him so far. As the judges deliberate, Akira recalls how Jun brought him out of the slums and helped him become the chef he is. With originality being the deciding factor between the three dishes, Akira is declared the winner of the autumn elections. After that, Soma called his father to tell him about the results of the cooking battle. Joichiro teased his son for being lost, but he was very grateful because Joichiro suggested he go to Tatsuki school so he could add insight into culinary arts and meet many people with unique talents and abilities in terms of cooking. Because of that, Soma confirmed to his father that he was determined to find his own way of cooking. A few days later, Soma hangs out with Akira and Kurakiba while Jun explains the Stagiaira training program for first-year students. The Stagiaira program requires students to take up residence and leave their mark on various restaurants. In the Stagiaira program, Soma is paired with Hisako, who has felt inferior since she lost the autumn elections, and they are sent to Mitamira Western Restaurant. They discover that the restaurant struggles to keep up with the barrages of orders from commuting customers. Still, Soma manages to use his experience to take control and keep everyone organized. Meanwhile, Irina and Megumi are sent to a French restaurant, where Irina instantly takes command of the kitchen, and Megumi finds her way to make improvements. While Hisako becomes more accustomed to her role, Soma believes that the restaurant needs to change so that it doesn't struggle again once the stagiaire is over. With the staff unwilling to cut down their large menu, Soma suggests that they become a reservations-only restaurant. After passing the first stage of the Stagira, he tells Hisako to stop feeling ashamed of her defeat, telling her that she should aim to stand beside Arena instead of behind her. The next step of the Stagira reunites Soma with Shinomiya, who is opening a Tokyo branch of his French restaurant, the Shinos. As the restaurant begins its first pre-open day, Soma witnesses firsthand the intensity of working in Shinomiya's kitchen and struggles to keep up with the rest of the staff. Thinking over his failures, Soma spends the rest of the week getting prep work done early, so he can ask other staff members for advice on becoming more efficient in the kitchen and learning new techniques. On the final day, Soma enters a competition to create a dish for Shino's menu that he can call his specialty. At the end of the final day, Shinomiya calls in and serves food to his fellow alumni and his mother, recalling what inspired him to pursue French cuisine. Soma uses everything he's learned during the competition to put together a French take on a chicken and egg rice bowl using a quail stuffed with risotto. Despite deciding that the dish is not good enough as it is, Shinomiya helps Soma refine the recipe so that it can become a dish on the menu. Thankfully, Soma passes the Stagira and returns to Tatsuki, ready to take on anyone who challenges him to a shakugeki. Shortly after the conclusion of the Stagira event, Soma and the seven other students who were finalists in the autumn election had the opportunity to meet face to face with all the members of the Elite 10 Council of Tatsuki Academy. Soma, who had intended to become one of the Elite Ten Councils, challenged them to a shakugeki to seize their current position. However, his challenge was rejected by the Elite Ten Council because their talents and abilities were far above his, so fulfilling his will to do shakugeki was a waste of time. Suddenly, the Elite Ten Eighth Seat, a young man named Kuga Teranori, mentions that if Soma could beat him in any form of cooking, he would accept Soma's shakugeki challenge, which only caused Soma's fighting spirits to be kindled. In response to Kuga's provocation, Soma decides to show off his cooking prowess in the upcoming Moon Festival, where groups or individuals set up food booths on school grounds. Deciding to go up against Kuga directly, Soma approaches Miyoko Hojo, who specializes in Chinese cuisine like Kuga. Miyoko explains that Kuga focuses on Sichuan spicy cuisine, taking Soma to Kuga's Chinese Cuisine Research Society. Soma is shocked to see many chefs working in perfect unison, all trained by Kuga himself. After tasting 10 identical dishes of Mapo Tofu, he becomes more determined to beat Kuga. He claims the booth area directly in front of Kuga's and decides to serve Chinese cuisine. As Soma submits his application form, Irina tells him he will be expelled if his booth loses money. Hearing his declaration of war on Kuga, Alice decides to join the festival. She capitalizes on Jun's maternal instinct to include her and Kurakiba in the booth run by the Shiomi Seminar, much to the annoyance of Akira. 
After involuntarily tasting Soma's version of Mapo Tofu, Irina superciliously explains to him the concept of spiciness in Sichuan cuisine, unintentionally giving him useful information. Alice and Isako then explain that spiciness works on vanilloid receptors differently, triggering the sense of pain, which has addictive and medicinal effects. Back at the dorm, Soma starts experimenting but just ends up making overly spicy dishes. Soma and Megumi borrow the Chinese department's open clay pot oven and plan to make Hujiao Bing, or pepper bun that originated in the capital of China's Fujian province. When the moon festival begins, Kuga's restaurant gets a long line of customers, while Soma manages to impress the few he is getting. The booths run by Satoshi and the Polar Star dormitory residents, the Don R.S. and Ikumi, and the Aldini brothers seem to be doing well. By the end of the day, Kuga's restaurant is the first place in sales in the central area, and the only two booths that lost money were Soma's and the Shiomi seminars, leaving Irina appalled. Day two passes, and Kuga's restaurant takes first place again. At the same time, Soma manages to climb up five rungs from the last place with the introduction of a noodle dish, created by slicing up the dough for the pepper bun into noodles and pairing them with garlic, shrimp stock, and ground pork filling. Meanwhile, Alice decides to start over and cooperate with Akira to make a dish that will satisfy customers. Day 3 passes without much improvement. Soma notices that Kuga is getting steady business, but the long wait time and the need for quick eating at peak times frustrate the diners. On day 4, Soma added tables and chairs to his booth and a remade version of his Yukihira-style Mapo Tofu by adding noodles and a giant mystery meatball with curry. Its aroma and intriguing appearance appeal to Kuga's frustrated customers, who begin to defect to his booth. Just as customer numbers get out of hand, Subaru comes to help. As evening comes, Soma and Megumi's friends from other booths and members of her regional Cuisine RS arrive to help cook and draw in more customers. Together, they achieve first place in sales on day 4, beating Kuga's restaurant. The Shiomi Seminar booth manages to attract customers and make up for its losses. However, Kuga beats him again on the fifth and last day of the Moon Festival, but he is unsatisfied. A flashback reveals that Kuga had challenged the Elite Ten as a first year and that Tsukasa Eishi, the current first seat, accepted his challenge. When Kuga lost, he made a deal with Tsukasa, if Kuga the first place in sales in the central area every day of the Moon Festival, they would have a rematch. Unfortunately, both Kuga and Soma lost, as Soma didn't achieve his goal of beating him in total sales. Afterward, in the Elite Ten Council's second seat, a girl named Riendao Kobayashi invites Soma and Megumi to Tsukasa's booth, where all three of them enjoy a nine-course meal prepared by Tsukasa. Intrigued by the different dining levels offered by the uptown area, Soma visits Irina's booth only to find her trembling in fear and her diner shocked by the unexpected appearance of her father, Azami Nakiri. Azami mocks the gourmands that have come to taste Irina's food and declares himself the new headmaster of Tatsuki, as he has the support of six members of the Elite Ten. The news of the takeover shocks the students and the public. Shortly afterward, Azami dismisses Hisako from her post as Irina's secretary, with Irina unable to object. The following day, Senzaiman meets with Soma. He reflects on Irina's childhood and how she was brainwashed, abused, and isolated by Azami to polish her god tongue into what it is today. This left her traumatized by his presence. Azami was exiled but continued to gather support in other parts of the world. Although Soma seems unsympathetic about Irina's situation, he reiterates to Senzai on his vow from when he first met Arena to make her say his food is delicious. Meanwhile, as Arena begins to despair in her room, Alice, Kurakiba, and Asako arrive to break her out of the Nakiri estate and find refuge for her at Polar Star Dormitory. The residents accept Arena as part of the dorm upon learning about her past. Afterward, Azami announces the disbandment of all research societies and independent bodies in Tatsuki Academy to the horror of the student body and staff. He announces the formation of the Central Gourmet Society, or Central for short, a new authoritarian body that will decide what students should cook and create. The Elite Ten Council 9th seat Aizan Itsui arrives at the Polar Star Dorm to announce its closure. However, Soma asks if a Shakugeki can overturn the decision. Aizan accepts his challenge. Later on, Aizan broadcasts a Shakugeki with Kabudoyama Tetsuji, head of the Skewer Research Society, only to reveal that he has bribed the judges. While the other dorm residents lament their fate, Soma obstinately issues a Shakugeki challenge to Aizan. As their Shakugeki begins, Aizan directs his men to forcibly vacate the dorm, angering Soma. However, he refuses to be intimidated by Aizan's tactics and continues cooking, infuriating him. Meanwhile, the Polar Star residents band together and repel Aizan's men. After further taunts from Soma, Aizan decides to cook seriously. With Satsuma Jidori chicken as the theme, Aizan serves a Hainanese chicken rice dish that impresses the judges and Soma. Soma responds with a special chicken wingtip gyoza dish. 
He convinces Azon to try his dish, and Azon reluctantly acknowledges that his dish tastes good. The judges taste Soma's dish by seeing Azon's reaction and being tempted by the smell. Despite the unorthodox cooking methods used to make it, the judges are amazed by its unique flavor and vote unanimously for Soma. Soma declares to the school that he will battle anybody who threatens his friends in Polar Star, including the Elite Ten Council. With his victory, the Polar Star dorm is saved. The residents in Arena, Hisako, Takumi, and Asami celebrate the victory. Afterward, Satoshi arrives and explains that thanks to Soma's victory, Central is now allowing school organizations to issue Shakugeki requests, which will be overseen by neutral judges. Several days later, Satoshi is dismissed from the Elite Ten Council, along with Kuga and Third Seat, Megasima, as they voted against Azami's installation. While the rest of the Elite Ten and other Central members begin to hunt the survivors by defeating other school societies in their Shakugeki matches, Soma and his friends observe the matches to gain intelligence on their potential opponents. Alice and Kurokiba arrive for the final Shakugeki of the day, with all previous matches resulting in a win for Central. She explains that she had inadvertently become the head of the Cutting Edge Cuisine Research Society, making her a target in the hunt. Kurokiba accepted the challenge on her behalf and prepared to face off against Central member Kusunoki Rentaro, with the main ingredient of salmon. As the two contestants begin cooking, it is revealed that Rentaro is an expert in low-temperature cooking. As the judges deliberate on which dish is better, Rentaro boasts that he submerged his salmon in olive oil while cooking it, preventing moisture from escaping and preserving all the flavor. However, the judges declare that Kurokiba's dish is better. Kurokiba reveals that he inserted a spinach crepe and a special spice mix into his kulibiak. In addition, his blend of various uneven flavors accentuated the taste of his salmon, giving a dynamic sensation far better than Rentaro's salmon. Kurokiba is declared the winner as Azami enters the arena. The next day, Soma volunteers to be the Elite Ten Council first seat Tsukasa Aishi's sous chef during class and impresses Tsukasa with his skills. At the end of class, he asks Soma to join Central as his assistant, but Soma refuses. He then challenges Soma to an informal shakugeki and wagers his position as the first seat in return for Soma joining Central. Upon hearing that, Soma asks Tsukasa what Azami and Central's true plans are. Tsukasa reveals Azami's ultimate long-term goal, to eliminate all restaurants in Japan and replace them with fine dining gourmet eateries that only he approves of. Realizing this means the end of many local restaurants, such as Yukihira Family Restaurant, Soma resolves to beat Tsukasa. Soma creates a charcoal grilled venison thigh with sweet chestnut sauce, while Tsukasa makes roast venison backstrap with peppercorn and berry sauce. Arena, Hisako, and Megumi judge the dishes and reluctantly declare Tsukasa the winner. However, he decides not to force Soma into Central, saying that Soma's unorthodox and non-wavering cooking style would hinder his cooking. The second survivor hunt begins a few days later, with Megumi, Ikumi, and Marui managing to save their respective clubs. That night, Azami pays a visit to Polar Star Dormitory, where he is coldly received. As he leaves, Soma confronts Azami, who reveals that he was part of the Polar Star's golden generation and that he revered Joichiro and his cooking. He tells Azami that Joichiro is his father right as Arena arrives, shocking them. Azami arrogantly declares that the revolution he is planning is meant to bring down the food culture that ruined Joichiro, leaving both Soma and Arena wondering what happened between Joichiro and him. Afterward, Tsukasa announced that the advancement exam would take place for first-year students at the end of the semester in Hokkaido. Unlike past exams, all students are guaranteed to pass if they stick to the curriculum and follow Central's orders. However, Soma and his friends realize that Central will be using the advancement exam to eliminate all those who oppose Azami. As they begin to lose hope, Irina visits Soma and tells him that Joichiro's cooking inspired her to be a chef, but with Azami's return, she is conflicted over whether she wants to cook or not. Soma decides to inspire her again by cooking a special Yukihira dish, a tempera bowl that utilizes a fried frozen egg. Upon tasting it, she remembers how happy she felt tasting Joichiro's cooking and decides to oppose Azami. The next morning, Irina gathers all the Polar Star residents and tells them she will help them pass the exam. The next week, Arena teaches the Polar Star residents, Nikumi, and the Aldini brothers everything she knows about Hokkaido ingredients and cuisine. For the first stage, teams must prepare a single salmon dish, but Soma's team is deliberately given the lowest quality salmon. Since salmon is out of season, there is no way to get one fresh. Thanks to Arena's lessons, Soma's team remembers that salmon can be frozen in brine, preserving its flavor. They procure one such salmon from a local vendor and prepare a delicious Yuan-style grilled Takashirazu salmon dish, and the judge passes. The other rebel teams manage to overcome Central's interference. Soma and his friends arrive in Sapporo for the second exam stage, where they are tasked with making a noodle dish. However, the test is designed so that the rebels must go last. 
Most of the ingredients have been used up by the other students, and the arrival of a heavy blizzard prevents them from getting more. Regardless, they remember Arena's lessons and use leftover potatoes to make Gosetsu Udon. The examiner reluctantly passes them, showing how Arena rallied the rebels under her leadership. The students are allowed to explore Sapporo, and Arena takes the time to fully appreciate the new friends she's made. Shortly afterward, Soma, Arena, Megumi, and Takumi find themselves on a train with Riendao, who informs them that their next challenge is to defeat the Elite Ten. Soma is tasked with facing the newest Elite Ten member, Akira, while Takumi and Megumi are to face Riendao. Dajima arrives to judge Soma and Akira's match, announcing that the theme ingredient will be bear meat. Soma quickly learns that bear meat is more difficult to cook than other meats due to its strong smell and gamey taste. To nullify its smell, spices are required, which gives Akira an advantage. Fuga unexpectedly arrives with his Chinese cooking team and assists Soma by providing him with several spices to work with. Later, Dajima tells Soma and Kuga that Akira was coerced into joining Central, as Azami holds all of Shiomi's research hostage. Soma chastises Akira for giving in to Azami so easily and tells him not to hold back. Kuga reminds him that the other rebels are cooking against other members of the Elite Ten and says that it is unrealistic to expect all of them to pass. Soma and Akira decided to create fried bear dishes for the challenges. Soma finishes his dish first, a fried bear meat cutlet impressing the judges with the taste and his willingness to risk by using the smelliest yet tastiest parts of the bear. When Akira presents his dish, everyone stares in awe. The judges taste his fried bear and conclude that it is superior to Soma's cutlet but decide that they must test the accompanying sauces. His juniper berry gravy is powerful, but Soma creates a superior sauce using caramelized honey and balsamic vinegar. The final vote is close but is ultimately decided in Soma's favor. Akira realized that he had genuinely enjoyed cooking with his classmates and friends. Not long after, one of Azami's aides arrives and informs Akira that he has been expelled due to his loss. Except for Soma, Irina, Megumi, and Takumi, all of the rebels lose their matches against the Elite Ten and are expelled. The remaining rebels decide that the only way to overturn the expulsions is to challenge the Elite Ten to a Shakugeki. Still, they cannot convince Azami to agree to the challenge. However, Joichiro and Senzaiman unexpectedly arrive and propose a team Shakugeki called a Regiment de Cuisine. Joichiro offers to join Central if the rebels lose, and Azami agrees. Joichiro, Senzaiman, and Dajima proceed to personally train Soma and his friends. They start with a three-on-three -three cooking match, where Joichiro, Soma, and Arena compete against Dajima, Megumi, and Takumi. They must cook Hachai's Parmentier, a savory dish of cooked minced meat topped with mashed potato and baked, with an additional rule that teammates may not speak to each other. During this match, Joichiro and Dajima diverge from the standard Hachai's Parmentier recipe to further test the students. Soma, Arena, Megumi, and Takumi quickly catch on to what Joichiro and Dajima intend to do with their dishes, and both teams manage to complete their unique take on Hachai's Parmentier. Senzaiman has both teams taste the other's dish and decide on the winner, but both teams insist that the other is the winner. The match is declared a draw, and he points out how the exercise successfully fostered teamwork among them and convinced Arena to leave her comfort zone and improvise in the kitchen. The group then meets Azami to finalize the rules of Team Shakugeki. Both sides agree that the rebels will take the Elite Ten seats if they win, and if they lose, they will be expelled, and Joichiro will join Central. Azami tries to pressure Arena into siding with the Elite Ten. After some hesitation, she resigns from the tenth seat and joins the rebel team. Azami adds one final condition, if the rebels lose, Arena must join Central. With the rules decided, both sides leave to prepare for the upcoming showdown. As Arena sleeps, Joichiro and Dajima tell Soma, Megumi, and Takumi about their time at Polar Star with Azami. Joichiro proved to be a cooking prodigy as a student, earning a seat in the Elite Ten in his first year. He won countless cooking competitions and shakugekis, culminating in him single-handedly defeating over 100 opponents in a team shakugeki, earning the title Demon. Unfortunately, the continued success began to take its toll, as every win put pressure on him to perform even better next time, resulting in a nervous breakdown. Senzaman advised that he take a leave of absence to rediscover his passion for cooking. Afterward, Joichiro challenges Soma to another cook-off. Dajima watches the two of them, silently thanking Soma for helping reignite Joichiro's passion for cooking. Long story short, Soma manages to recruit Satoshi, Kuga, Megasima, and Subaru for Team Shakugeki to make the match an 8 vs 8. As the contest begins, Soma, Satoshi, and Megashima are matched against Kinokuni Nene and two replacement Elite 10 members, with Soma having to face Nene. Unfortunately, Soma draws Soba as their theme, Nene's specialty. Soma decides to counter this disadvantage by making an instant yakisoba dish, which he feels will do better in conveying his cooking than a regular soba dish. 
Meanwhile, Satoshi battles against the new Elite Ten Council 8th seat, Shiratsu Juryo, over an eel dish. Juryo begins insulting Satoshi, wondering why he, a cook from a prominent family, would associate himself with the lowlifes of Polar Star. This angers Satoshi, and he vows to completely crush him. At the same time, Nene presents her soba dish, which includes Kakiyage's Sakura shrimp tempura, and the judges acknowledge her mastery of soba. Soma then presents his instant yakisoba dish, which also impresses the judges. Soma reveals he was inspired by the instant noodles he ate as a child and how he continually experimented with ways to make them taste better. He decided to use Senbako flour, which can withstand being stir-fried, rather than the delicate Ichibanko flour Nene used. The judges decide in Soma's favor, pointing out that the cold temperature of the arena affected the taste of Nene's soba. Satoshi tells Nene that her dedication to a single method of making soba made her too narrow-minded to consider variables like the effect of ambient temperature. Megasima also defeats his opponent, resulting in the rebels completely sweeping the first bout. Azami announces a short break before the second bout, and both sides prepare for the next battle. With the first round resulting in a sweeping victory for the rebels, the second round begins with Kuga, Megasima, and Subaru competing against Tsukasa, Riendao, and Sato, respectively. However, Mimisaka and Megasima lose to Riendao and Sato, and Kuga is defeated by Tsukasa. This makes the second round a sweep for the Elite Ten. Despite their victories, Tsukasa and Riendao are too exhausted to participate in the third round. Long story short, Soma, Irina, Tsukasa, and Riendao are the remaining contestants. Senzaiman then declares that the next match will be the final one, with Soma and Irina facing off against Tsukasa and Riendao in a two versus two matches. In each team, one team member must prepare an appetizer while the other makes the main course. As the final match begins, Riendao elects to cook the appetizer while Tsukasa handles the main course. Soma reluctantly agrees to cook the appetizer only after losing a game of rock-paper-scissors to Arena. As the match continues, Riendao serves a mushroom mille fiole with formic acid collected from ants. Tsukasa then serves his sauce chevreuil, which he baked in a salt crust. The judges and the crowd are shocked at the delicious flavor both dishes can demonstrate. To combat this, Soma takes advantage of Arena's god tongue by having her taste test his cooking. As instructed by her, he makes a pate de camp and appetizer but adds his twist. The judges are caught off guard by his addition of marinated beef, bacon, yakiniku sauce, and consomme to the pate. Azami admits that Soma's dish is comparable to Tsukasa's. Still, since Soma treats his appetizer like the main course, Azami is confident that it will ruin the taste of Arena's dish. Soma tells Arena he disobeyed her instructions because he knows she cannot beat Tsukasa unless she comes up with her own specialty. By serving his appetizer like the main course, he has challenged Arena to make something that can surpass him. Arena accepts Soma's challenge and recruits his help in making a new dish, despite only having 10 minutes left. She completes her dish, which is a chicken and egg rice bowl. Azami refuses to taste the dish, believing it is pointless, but agrees to taste it if Tsukasa and Riendao acknowledge it. They are caught off guard by how good both dishes taste. Azami attempts to resist, saying that without Central, Irina will lose her passion for cooking as Joichiro did. She counters that she won't lose her passion as long as she has her friends, and thanks to them, she's the chef she is today. Azami is forced to admit defeat, and the rebels are declared Team Shakugeki. A defeated Azami leaves the arena, where he meets Joichiro and Dajima. They reassure him that they are still friends and don't harbor any ill will towards him. All the expelled rebels are reinstated to Tatsuki, and the rebels who participated in Team Shakugeki are given priority placement on the Elite Ten Council. Arena nominates Soma to be the first seat, and he nominates her to be the new director of Tatsuki. Both nominations are supported by Senzaiman and the rebels. Several months later, the new term began. The new Elite Ten is revealed, Megumi is promoted to the tenth seat, and Nene and Aizan are demoted to the ninth and eighth seats, respectively. Takumi is promoted to the 7th seat, followed by the trio of Alice, Kurokiba, and Akira being promoted to the 6th, 5th, and 4th seats, respectively. Kuga is promoted to the 3rd seat, and finally, Satoshi is promoted to the 2nd seat. The 3rd year students graduate and go their separate ways. Thanks to Soma's declaration that he will accept Shakugeki, the school's culture is completely reformed as Shakugeki's between students become more commonplace. With the finals for Tatsuki's first term arriving, Soma and his classmates in the Elite Ten are given the challenge to renovate an abandoned beach restaurant and earn a 3 million yen profit within three days. Meanwhile, the rest of the class is given easier assignments to run existing restaurants. In addition, the exams are being overseen by a new instructor, Suzuki. Suzuki seems interested in Soma, who gets the impression he has met Suzuki before. Soma and his classmates can only open their restaurant on the third and final day due to the renovations they need to make. 
Fortunately, they can attract a massive crowd thanks to their special yakisoba, which combines vegetables, minced squid, squid ink, red olive oil, and soft-boiled egg yolks. By the end of the day, they can make their quota and pass the exam. And as they make their summer vacation plans, Dajima arrives and informs them that the most prestigious cooking competition in the world, Blue, is set to begin soon. While Irina has a special invitation for Blue, only three students from Tatsuki will be allowed to participate. To determine the three students who would participate, she organized the Blue preliminaries, pitting Tatsuki's most talented students against each other. The ones who made it through the preliminaries were Soma, Takumi, and Megumi. One week before Blue is scheduled to start, Suzuki challenges Soma to an unofficial shakugeki, explaining he needs a win against the first seat to earn a spot in Blue himself, so he can achieve his dream of making Arena his bride. He accepts under the condition that Suzuki reveals the secret he is hiding if Soma wins. After hearing and accepting Soma's terms if he wins, Suzuki states his terms by collecting Soma's knife. Suzuki defeats him but does not collect his knife, calling it inferior to Joichiro's. Suzuki reveals that he beat Jochiro and took his knife as a reward and that his real name is Asahi Saiba. Afterward, Soma returns home and meets Jochiro outside. Jochiro explained that Asahi was an orphan who had been accepted as his only student and took his original last name Saiba. However, after the death of his wife, he eventually stopped visiting Asahi's orphanage, so he could properly run his diner and raise Soma. Meanwhile, Dajima tells Arena that Osahi is a part of the Noir, an organization of underworld chefs who got invited to compete in the Blue by the bookmaster of the WGO. Later that night, Osahi tells Arena that he wishes to defeat her and win the Blue to marry her, but Arena vows to defeat him for insulting her and Tatsuki. After Soma vows to take revenge on Osahi at the Blue, Juichiro tells him the secret of becoming a great chef, dedicating all his cooking to someone else. A few days later, Soma, Megumi, and Takumi arrive at the site of the Blue Tournament along with Saiba and then Wars. The WGO bookmaster explains that contestants must pass through three gates, each requiring completing a special culinary challenge to open, before reaching the main castle keep, where they will compete in front of the bookmaster herself. Asahi reveals that he has been seated to the third gate. Irina then reveals that she will have to pass her special set of trials separate from the rest of the contestants. Soma, Megumi, and Takumi are separated into different groups. Soma's group is tasked with creating dishes that will satisfy Takayama Higoro, an elderly ex-noir looking for a dish that will be a worthy last supper. The regular chefs cannot satisfy Higoro, while the noirs easily pass. Masahi explains that only noirs can understand the significance of the last meal thanks to their underworld experience. Soma then chastises Higoro, pointing out he should stop looking for last suppers and instead take the opportunity to explore and eat new foods he's never seen. This shocks Higoro, who is planning on doing the unthinkable after the tournament and resolves to keep living to explore as many tastes as he can. Fortunately, Soma passes the first gate along with Megumi and Takumi. As Soma, Megumi, and Takumi pass through the first gate, they are shocked to meet Tsukasa. The judge for the second challenge, Rontabi, instructs all of the chefs that they are to create a dish from nothing but ingredients available from a regular convenience store. Any dish she judges worth more than $100 will pass the challenge. Soma prepares a sukiyaki beef bowl but is fined $14 for wasting ingredients. Tsukasa submits his chicken and beef dish with demi-glace, which earns a price of $587. Soma's second try is an osechi set, which catches Rontabi off guard when she realizes that no matter which order she eats it in, the different side dishes never conflict. She passes Soma's dish but refuses to divulge how much it is worth. Meanwhile, Irina defeats the gauntlet of the chefs who failed the first challenge, only to be tasked with facing off another gauntlet against the chefs who lost the second challenge. Megumi and Takumi pass the second challenge with $128 and $150 dishes, respectively. The remaining chefs are then led to the second gate, where they are met by three of the top-ranking war chefs. The bookmaster then makes a surprise announcement, declaring that the winner of this year's blue will become her personal chef, and declares that the third challenge will be to impress three of the WGO's top judges. The noir chefs Sarge, Marcanta, Claudeville, and Bunny Hare, who specialize in extremely unconventional but effective methods of cooking unique to themselves, easily pass. Many of the regular chefs are intimidated by the noir chef's skills, but Soma, Megumi, Takumi, and Tsukasa easily pass as well. Arena takes on the losers of the third challenge in another gauntlet. With the preliminary challenges completed, the competition transitions into a conventional tournament, with Soma being matched against Sarge in the first round, with the theme being to bake a Christmas cake. Soma's cake incorporates a light batter with white and brown cream, with a light sweetness despite not containing any sugar or dairy. Impressed with his skill and his consideration of their preferences, the judges declare Soma the winner.
is Drichiro and Senzai men observe the match. Drichiro explains that the skills Soma learned in his diner were important since they taught him how to anticipate the needs of his customers. Tsukasa and Osahi are matched together for the second round with a Puisin chicken theme. While Tsukasa can make an almost perfect dish, it is still outshined by Asahi's dish, as he was able to incorporate the cooking techniques of all of the noirs. Asahi is declared the winner and takes possession of Tsukasa's grater, gaining his skills. Afterward, Soma and his friends discover that Arena is the chef taking on the gauntlet of revenge matches, much to their shock. When informed of her success in the revenge matches, the bookmaster muses that the god tongue has no place in the tournament. She easily wins her tournament match against one of the noirs. With the tournament's first round complete, Soma and his friends decide to confront the bookmaster to figure out why Arena is being treated so harshly. As they arrive, they accidentally eavesdrop on a meeting between Arena and the bookmaster, where it is revealed the bookmaster is actually Arena's mother, Mana Nakiri. Mana left the Nakiri family and abandoned Arena due to her god tongue, causing her to be unable to tolerate the taste of food of any kind. In the second round, Arena defeats Takumi, and Osahi defeats Megumi. After the match, Asahi again taunts her, boasting that only he can overcome the god tongue. Soma then intervenes, objecting to Asahi's assertion that his victory is inevitable. After Asahi takes his leave, Irina reveals to Soma and Megumi that while the god tongue is considered a blessing to cooking, it is considered a curse in the Nakiri family as those who possess it will inevitably become too sensitive to the taste of food and become incapable of eating, doomed to a life of suffering. Irina begins to express her doubts about overcoming the curse of the god tongue. Soma simply assures her that he will defeat Asahi. Soma, Irina, and Asahi advance up the tournament brackets until he faces Asahi in the semi-final match. Soma reminisces about how he learned to cook from his late mother, Tamako Yukihira. Even though she wasn't a good cook, she never gave up, even if her dishes turned out bad. Meanwhile, many of Soma's acquaintances, such as Joichiro, Dajima, and the Polar Star members, arrive to cheer on Soma. As the match starts, Mana decides that the theme should be combining the five grand cuisines – French, Chinese, Turkish, Indian, and Italian – into a single dish. Asahi immediately starts off using his cross knives, incorporating every cooking tool he has obtained, including Joichiro's knife. While everybody is certain he will win, Soma is not intimidated. Soma then prepares to start cooking his own dish. As the match continues, Alice and Hisako bring Azami to the tournament where he reveals that all of his actions in raising Arena were in an effort to prevent the despair that Mana fell into. Afterward, Asahi completes his dish, which is a French basti filled with shark fin soup, Indian spices, and ravioli filled with Turkish dondurma. His dish impresses the judges and even Mana herself. Soma responds with his own dish, which is fried rice that combines Chinese donpo pork, Italian equipaza, Indian poriol, French mayapois, and Turkish pilaf. The judges are shocked at the insane risk Soma took to combine all the various flavors together. Soma reveals to Asahi that this fried was based on one of his mother's failed dishes that he learned from her, and the one critical element it has that Asahi's dish doesn't is the taste of failure. However, Mana ends up being equally impressed with Soma's dish, leaving everybody uncertain about who will be declared the winner. To the shock of everyone, Soma's dish causes Mana to unleash an even more powerful pulse that shreds the clothes of almost everyone in the stadium. Asahi cannot believe that Soma could have surpassed his cross knives on his own, but the bookmaster states that Asahi's impressive dish is nothing more than the flavors he took from other chefs but is empty under the surface. By contrast, Soma's own dish has everything he learned from the people he met but is also imbued with his own personal flavor, and thus he's declared the absolute winner of the match. Asahi grudgingly accepts his defeat and attempts to return Joichiro's knife to Soma, but he says that he won it fairly and can keep it while also asking why he wanted to marry Arena in the first place. Asahi recalls the time Joichiro told him the secret to becoming a great chef, making him realize that what he wanted all along was a family. Later that day, he and Mana see each other face to face as they recall their first meeting and their life together until Mana breaks down upon realizing that Arena would suffer the same fate as her. The next day, as the finals begin, Senzaiman recalls how he recruited the current generation of prodigies for Tatsuki as part of his plan to save her, but as the match goes underway, she begins falling into despair. Soma comes and tastes her cooking, telling her she's making a boring dish and he won't feel good about winning against her that way, snapping her out of it. Soma sets about making a new version of the egg tempera bowl he first served to Arena during his entrance exam, having incorporated techniques he learned during his time at Tatsuki. Both Mana and Arena are caught off guard by how well it is cooked, which causes her to release the most powerful version of the gifting. Sadly, Arena still refuses to acknowledge the dish as delicious since she will cook an even better dish. As Mana observes, she realizes that Soma's refusal to quit and his dedication to cooking for someone he truly cares about are the elements needed to satisfy the god tongue. 
she manages to present a dish that defeats Soma's, making her the winner of Blue. Frustrated at losing Irina, Soma decides to go on a world tour to improve his cooking. Meanwhile, Irina welcomes Mana home. Azami also returns and admits that Osahi is actually his illegitimate son, making him Irina's half-brother. Not long after, Irina invites Osahi into the Nakiri family so she can finally fulfill her wish of having the entire family eat a meal together. Six months later, Soma returns to the Yukihira diner, inviting Irina and all his friends and classmates. She arrives first and quietly realizes she has feelings for Soma just as the rest of the guests arrive to celebrate his return. The moral that can be learned from this anime is that there is no talent without hard work.